Cause you got ten dollars, boy. Uh, yeah, one second, please. I know what I want. All right. Are you getting? I'm getting a veggie burger with no tomatoes. A combo, please. But do they have um sweet tea? Cause last time I didn't see the sweet tea, like I didn't even get it. Do you guys have sweet tea? Yes, we do. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Right. Do you mind being on my video? Yay! This is my friend Michael. He's my best friend. All right, can I get a veggie burger? Girl, you watching at your own risk. Hey guys, remember that video I was talking about where I said I wouldn't talk about my relationships, my main important relationships? Today I'm going to address them. So basically I had three important relationships that I feel are very important. And um, the first one I'm going to call Billy Bob. The first one I'm going to call Billy Joe. And the third one I'm going to call Billy Billy. So Billy Bob was my very first love. I lost my virginity to him. And um, I learned a lot of things through all of these relationships. Some of them were repetitive um, encounters. Like lessons. Repetitive lessons. But because the ones that stood out the most I'm going to address. So, as I mentioned before, I was 20, I think 20 years old or 21 years old when, um, no, I think I was 20. Yeah, I was 20. So I was 20 years old when everything went down and um, the very first time that was, like I was already on the spiritual journey, but uh, I wanted to give this aspect of my life to him and also he was also a virgin so when we did this um i like had this high moment and it wasn't it wasn't great you know what i'm saying whenever a woman does that it's not it's not a great feeling but i had a high moment afterwards and it was like um euphoria in a way like everything felt amazing I felt like on cloud nine, animals and trees were talking to me. I felt so connected with everything. It was beautiful. And um, yeah, it was just a great experience. And our relationship in general was um, a great relationship, very happy relationship. We were very creative together. We critiqued each other's work. We were very open and honest with each other as much as possible. The only thing is, is that what I learned from him, besides the spiritual aspect, was if you're a liar, you're going to continue to lie, and if you're a cheater, you're going to continue to cheat. Now, that's not entirely everybody, but it's like, if you can cheat on me one time, why would I take you back? But I did take him back, so... Yeah. That's what I learned in that that, that moment, that, you know, it's, it's not a good idea to get back with people when they cheat on you. Yeah, you can give them a second chance if you want to, but with my life and my situation, if you cheat on me, it's over. And the thing was, it wasn't even like he had intercourse with this person. He literally just dated somebody for six months straight. So it was literally a more emotional cheating than it was a sexual one. And that's what really hurt me a lot because it's a really complicated story actually that I'll probably have in the next for our next video, our next story. That was actually a really good story. Think about it, I'm probably gonna have that as like my next video tomorrow. So if I'm wearing the same outfit, I'm recording that. But anyways, so then after I ended up breaking it off with Billy Bob, I, I had a friend whose name is Billy Joe, and um, him and I were friends before I met Billy Bob. Like right before I met Billy Bob, we were friends and he was a really cool dude, very emotionally uh, supportive there in my time of need. And when I reinstituted him in my life, I also needed more emotional support. So I felt like he would be there for me. But in reality, he was like the worst boyfriend I ever had, to be honest. Like just completely abusive in every aspect. And it was just insane the stuff, the amount of stuff I put up because of my low in my life like i literally was questioning my beliefs i was questioning my me as a person i was going through so much turmoil that when i was in that relationship i let so much abuse happen that it should have stopped when it when it started but instead i just i needed something and i felt 
I don't know why I stayed around, but I learned through that that none of that is okay. None of that is okay, no matter what. I can go into detail with this one, but I'm not going to for the sake of everyone watching and for, um, you know, the wound that I'm still progressively forgiving. Um, yeah, it's just, it was so really... Like, I've never been in that type of relationship in my life until that moment, and I will never return to a relationship like that. So, I learned through that relationship my limits when it comes to abusive situations. Um, and basically that I, like my beliefs, my, my, uh, yeah, mainly my beliefs come first. I don't care how you feel, my beliefs come first. So, the next dude, his name is Billy Joe, Billy Bob, Billy Billy, his name is Billy Billy. And he had similar beliefs with me. The way that we interacted with each other was very good in the beginning. But what I did was I compromised my self for him because of something he desired because I was his partner at the time I thought he was gonna be a life partner so because I was his partner at the time I compromised something that I would never compromise for anybody else for him and that was like the most important relationship the most important lesson if you are not gonna do something you don't need to do it that's literally how I feel like don't don't do it because you love someone so much. Do it because you want to do it, not because of somebody else. So, through all of this, I learned how to love myself more. And the, what I've learned entirely is that I need to love myself completely so that when I get in a relationship, that person doesn't have to love me. Now, that's not saying that they won't treat me right or that they shouldn't love me, but I'm saying that they won't have to love me so I won't have to look for love in them instead of I already have it I'm good with myself they're good with themselves and we just love being together while we're loving ourselves kind of thing so we love like already I don't want to date a cheater anymore so I'm not going to date a cheater so I won't have to worry about someone cheating on me and if they do you know what I'm saying I love myself enough to cut them off and I also won't be hurt about it because I love myself to know that they missed out and then I won't, you know what I'm saying, I won't date in a, a crazy, all types of abuser, sexual, mental, physical abuser. And they wouldn't abuse me, you know what I'm saying, because I wouldn't allow it. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, because of these, these situations, these relationships that I got into, and the things that I allowed myself to get into because I wasn't fully in love with myself yet, I learned so much. And of course, I'm not completely... I mean, I'm freaking awesome. I'm not saying that, but I am saying that there are maybe a few more lessons. I don't know everything. I probably will never know everything. But I do know now how much worth I have for anybody in any relationship. And I'm not tolerating a damn thing ever again. Like, no more games, no more none of that. I'm too grown. I got too much stuff to do with my life to be playing with y'all. Thinking, yeah, like, literally. So... Uh, the third, the third one. I'll just, I'll just give you a brief rundown. So I got pregnant because we planned to have a kid. Now, mind you, after I got pregnant, his he went a wall. Didn't even want me to tell people that he um, wanted me to get pregnant. Like it was just like all me. That's basically how he was acting. But it was like, how could it be all me? We both was not. Anyway, we both. I can't just pop a baby. You feel me? So anyway, <laughs> so. He was playing games, whatever, and I decided to get pregnant before he started playing games because I was like, oh, this dude's going to be my partner, we're going to get married, we're going to have babies, and this is what he wants, and I want to give him what he wants instead of, oh, what do I want? I don't really want children. Not saying that I'll never want children because I've been uh, craving adoption recently, but not saying that I never want children. I just don't want, I just didn't want children right then, and I am in a place in my life right now that I don't want kids. Which I probably never want to have kids. But anyway, so <laughs> with all that in mind, I did compromise a very strong um, thing for me. And would I have regretted having a child with him? Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, I would have. But um, yeah, it's a really complicated story. I'm just trying to let you guys know that these three relationships shaped me. Like, I'm not upset about the relationships. I am, like, I'm heartbroken when i was heartbroken i was heartbroken for myself like the things that i put myself through that i allowed myself to go through not because of how they treated me but because i tolerated 
that's what I was heartbreaking about and heartbroken about. And I'm very grateful for these relationships because if you look at me now, I'm getting paper. Look at me now. Eh, no, but if you look at me now, I am so much more mature emotionally and romantically. I love myself so much. I don't understand how I could ever have been in that mindset to where I allowed that stuff to happen. And I really am excited about where I'm going in my life and it would have never been, I would have never became this person if I didn't get pregnant, if I didn't get abused, if I didn't get cheated on. You know what I'm saying? I would have never had this beautiful personality emerge from me that continues to grow and continues to thirst for more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So, with all that in mind, be grateful for your freaking crazy boyfriends and, um, and girlfriends. And neutral friends. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you, Billy Bob, Billy Joe, Billy Billy, for everything you've done for me. You're surprised, probably, that I got up, but I'm a very strong individual. So, yeah, I appreciate you. Like and share, trick.